Hello everyone, welcome back to the saga of Simon, whatever this silly middle name is, Holt, which is kind of a daft last name too, but I'm not going to judge. Everyone has weird last names. Some people, there's a politician in the UK called Alistair Darling. That's what my mum used to call me. So let's not talk about silly last names. Um, I've successfully rebuilt this door. Hooray! I've also gone around and boarded up every single window, although this one does not look like it. Um, they all seem to have different styles for some reason, don't ask me why. I also went downstairs because I needed more nails. So I'm going to let go of this shopping cart to show you. Um, actually, while we're here, let's just... Um, there's a trash can below me and everywhere else there is a bunch of nonsense rubbish. So let's just move these. I'm actually going to pick up these nails. Because I we needed them, I needed more nails to finish boarding up. What do you mean I can't go down here? You're right, I can't finish boarding up the 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 the, the windows that we have down there. Um, right, we opened that door as our first character, and now we're here as our second character, and we're like, why is the door open? It's spooky. It's not that spooky. You're okay. And a hoopy fruit always knows where his towel is, so I've done that. Um, I started deconstructing furniture down here for the nails, and I realised I can deconstruct these. Um. The, the gym equipment that's down here, and when you do that, you get quite a lot of decent stuff. You get a small wheel, that's pretty cool, a foot crank and a saddle. That's all you need, basically, to make a dynamo, which would be a... It's not literally all you need, but it's basically it's the difficult parts to find. If you build a dynamo, you can attach a battery to it, sit on it, turn the foot cranks and charge the battery. And I mean a car battery here, um, which is usually quite difficult to do because the other way of doing that is a have a car and b or i should say b have solar panels which are also difficult to come by unless you happen to find a solar panel car and you have the skill necessary to take them off the car and put them on something else which i don't excuse me while i sip my tea of course simon has a teapot i believe um but i'm the one with the tea so haha -ha. <laughs> I did find nails, should have picked them up. Here are the pipes I wanted. That's another good thing, because now I can pick up these pipes. I'm going to move as many as I can. Uh, that was it. <laughs> uh, there's also plastic chunks called processor boards, RAM, and small LCD screens, and a steel chain. So I took apart um, exercise bike, I think. And I can't remember what the other one was, but it was useless to me. Because, um, is it? It's a heavy punching bag. Wood. <laughs> Wood. Wood. Am I getting stronger? I'm assuming if I try and smash a uh, punching bag, I'm just going to punch it. That seems sensible. What have we got over here? Melee. Bashing weapons? Maybe not. Uh, unarmed, maybe? Or punching? <laughs> what do you think it might be under? Let's have a look at unarmed combat as well. 3%. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know, I'm not trying to damage a heavy punching bag. 3%. No, it didn't change. Never mind. Uh, we could disassemble this too. No, I can't. We can disassemble this. Save game, of course. And we get lead. What were you? <sighs> I don't like it. Uh, we can pick up some of this. This weighs base. This uh, volume of this is basically nothing, which is grand. That's a lot of lead. You can use it to craft uh, birdshot, shotgun stuff. So that's really cool as well. I'm not going to pick that up because it's far too heavy. What is this? Pinball machine. Uh, can I play it? <laughs> I want to play it. Well, let me. But this means... Ah, I didn't even notice this at the time when I did it. Now that we have a pipe, we can create a crowbar. Oh, yeah, there it is. All lit up and ready to go. No room. So you drop it. That's fine. Don't care. Drop it. Drop away. My dude. Towel. Hopey Fruit always knows where his towel is, so we will keep that in our shopping trolley. We'll keep our hammer, we'll keep our screwdriver. I don't think we need to carry our Swiss army knife around with us, but I am, and you can't stop me. Uh, and I'm really just going to drop the rest of this stuff. I'm stuck. Okay, uh, over somewhere. What I'm doing here is just examining all these spaces where I may have put stuff to see if I've already got a pile I don't. Uh, let's make a pile sort of on the edge of the just of nonsense and scrap. If I do this directly below me and everywhere else, I'm just going to make a pile just to tidy up a little bit because it's just really, really messy. 
It's slovenly. Or slovenly. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to take all this stuff out of the bin as well. Um, slovenly is like one of those... So I was watching a long, long time ago. Um, I'm sure you've heard of the Yogscast. I was watching Sips play with Sjin. Uh, move all these. About, it was just a, a, a Minecraft thingy. And he's, Sips, being Canadian, said, Hovel. <laughs> Where we would say hovel. And he said, but you say shovel, don't you? Have to give it to him. <laughs> he, he's not wrong. We do say shovel and hovel. And now I feel particularly inconsistent. I won't press comma there. Yeah, that's good. Uh, stop buzzing, phone. Or well, it might be Jen. It's not. Okay. Uh, nope. This one goes this way. This one goes here. Move all that. Just tidying up. We can leave the stuff in the can, in the trash can that is already in the trash can. And we have got a makeshift crowbar. We also need to eat and drink. Indefinite shelf life on it. I have been basically guzzling down this milk. Because it makes us less hungry and less thirsty. Although I'm noticing 25 quench was enough to make us not thirsty. But 60 calories didn't take us down from very hungry, which is kind of pesky. Also a while ago, it's not in this list anymore. But uh, it did say... I had an uncooked burrito which was cold, so I heated it up, as you do, and then I had an uncooked burrito which was hot, and then I ate it, <laughs> because I didn't think that there might be a situation where I have an uncooked burrito, and yet it's hot. Um, so that was not necessarily what I intended to do. We might cook this noodle soup, actually, so let's, um, let's get the ash out of the oven, and then grab our... Excuse me. That's F. That's G. We will. If I press this slash, I'm not going to get it wrong. That was the numpad slash that I used there. Uh, south and then no. Uh, just a couple of 2x4s and we activate our campfire drill. Do that there. And we can now make food. Uh, no, no, no. It's tab now. I'm so used to pressing the uh, pointy bracket keys to move around there that now that I keep doing so. Am I actually pressing the right thing? No, I was pressing slash anyway, so it's not like I was doing it right. Um, but it could have been more right than it was bird food. What birds eat? Mainly made of seeds, silages, or legumes. It's perfect for small birds, which is not me. Ah, so, I would like to... Just check in, sorry, I went quiet checking that my recording is recording correctly, because it has had a little bit of a habit of um, being a pest about it. I want to heat up in the frying pan, of which I have two, this. I heat up the food. I can now eat fresh hot chicken noodle soup, which is fairly enjoyable considering it's chicken noodle soup, everybody. Chicken noodle soup. This is enjoyable enough that when you are sick, it makes you feel not sick, uh, which is that's depressing to me. Where did it go? <laughs> Can I? Where? I didn't eat all four at once, surely. He said four. Chicken. Open tin can on the sink. Fair enough. I'm now slate, which means I'm probably not going to be able to eat any more of my open tin can of chicken noodle soup. There it is. Because my quench on it is enough that now that I'm slate, I'm going to have to force feed myself. Yes. But I'm not hungry anymore, so that's fine with me. Um, I will probably eat the rest of that when it goes cold again. I don't know if they model the fact that if you, like, reheat chicken, that's bad for you. Um, so I'm going to hope that they don't. But I'm probably not going to reheat it anyway. It's just, you know, go away. Uh, I, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> so let's put, um, let's put this stuff down here. I might just leave the 2x4s around, to be honest. Well, there's only one there anyway. I can get more. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so we... <sighs> one thing I usually do is put things in the right rooms, but I always just means that I end up trying to move around to find the things that I've lost when I'd rather just have them all near me in sensible places. 
Like all that would have gone into the the bathroom, but then I can't just craft things with stuff that's lying around. I have to go into the bathroom, grab the things that I need. It's a little bit different from I think I try and role play it too hard because as if there is such a thing. Because if you in real life, if you were to find yourself in a zombie apocalypse, heaven forfend. Some of that should have gone in the bin, but I don't care. Uh, then yeah, you will um probably try and put things in places that are first off safe and then after that sensible for you know where you, where you might want to actually put them in in a, you want to try and maintain some semblance of real life in this crazy old mixed up world so you would put the bathroom things in the sink no in the bathroom <laughs> it's the sink sink can't play and talk at the same time, which might make you wonder why I'm doing exactly that. But <laughs> it's not funny. House with a ghost. Uh, that's another base. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to remove this note because I don't want it. There's a way of doing that. Did it? B. Yes. Um, and then we're going to just explore a little bit more. So let's. Well, I guess we should go to this one first. I'm scared of this place. Obviously, let's go to the candy shop, which I'm sure is a song. Someone can fill me in on whether that is a song or not because <laughs> sounds like a song. Uh, splintered wood is just a slightly more extended fire. Haha, <laughs> now we can apply our makeshift crowbar to that. Be very careful doing that. That was reckless. The reason that was reckless is that some shops have alarms. So if you pry open the door, especially if it's the back door, which that might not have been. Oh, I can eat breads. For calories, but no thirst. Neither a penalty, nor a, uh, a buff, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to grab everything because I'm a hoarder. Sure. Um, so you may end up having to run away. A turkey, you say? Oh, it went. It's going to pick up everything, although I have a feeling some of this has respawned since our first character did it. And look, there's more furniture here, so if we start being worried about how many... And that was the back door, by the way, so that could have gone alarm alarm. That would have been scary. Um, if you are worried about how many 2x4s we have left, worry not. Uh, can we close these gates? <laughs> there's a cemetery and the gates are open. Not a fan. Apparently, we have already explored this house, or somebody has. Also, squirrel and groundhog. That's fine. We are getting wet. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Although, it's, it's making us a bit upset. Look, dislikes uncooked burrito. Excuse me. I cooked that burrito. With my cooking. We're, in, we're indoors. So, we are, at least for now, going to be able to dry off. We can apply our towel. So, it wasn't... I didn't just bring it because a hoopy fruit knows where his towel is. We can use it to dry off and get some of our morale back. I've found a soldering iron, which is great. I'm going to take all of that because I want it. He wants it, precious. He wants it, but he can't have it. Um, because soldering irons are great for repairing and creating electronics. You can repair many things with the soldering iron, but the electronics are probably one of the most important parts of that. Um, tempted to start taking apart some of these... Um, things just because we can because we're here yes stop okay you can continue your work on that pick up everything into the shopping trolley but maybe don't worry about finishing it off I'm worried currently mostly that we have in our possession a combat knife if you have a look at the combat knife it's extremely sharp, light and extremely sharp as a military combat knife. Could be deadly in either the right hands or when attached as a bayonet. Hmm. Because I was going to say, hang on a minute. The problem here is that we have to be next to the enemy that we're attacking within a tile in order to stab it with a combat knife. And then we rely on the speed of the enemy to not be able to attack us for a couple of turns whilst we're attacking it. Which is what we've been doing. We've been using terrain to our advantage to achieve that. Let's 
spotted zombie. Streaker zombie has seen us. This is a bad news bears because it will make a big scream and then we will have to uh, we'll, it will attract more, more things towards us. So we don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drag it down here to somewhere. Why is it so fast? <laughs> I don't like it being this fast. Uh, something I'm trying to drag it along these bushes to be honest I haven't actually heard a shriek yet I don't know if I've gone deaf or if it's just an ineffectual shrieker zombie but if we yeah there we go, terrible shriek so we should be able to attack it quite okay but okay good, stop running because we don't want to run we should uh, probably move away after Five minutes. <laughs> sure, just stand there for five minutes. Having been shrieked at by a shrieker zombie. What is this? Pulped tough zombie corpse. So we pul pulped that one. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't uh, going to get back up again. It also has a plastic bag of heroin, which we can use as a painkiller or as a um, just a morale boost if we really want to. But obviously, heroin, Moorish. So we don't want to get addicted to it if we can avoid it. Just going to make sure we're not going to a cropper of any zombies. This is very smashed. We're gonna oh just leave this here. We don't have to smash this window anymore because it has been smashed. We want to be careful that there is not a um an adversary. There is. Where are you? Where's that side? Um if there's anything inside that could be unfortunate for us to say the least. So the door to this place is non existent. That's right there. We're going to go around closing these curtains, just because anything that's outside that can then see us doesn't try to, you know, get in. <laughs> not what we want it to do. And then close, close, and then can't close the other ones on account of how something has smashed them to smithereens. That was a bathtub with a corner missing. Just fill in the corner. All right, what have we got here? A flashlight. We will take it. Nothing in here. Let's take hmm. cargo pants that don't fit. We should, hmm. okay. We do want to be able to carry um, many of our, well, obviously, could be a good weapon or improvised lever or something. Um, we want to be able to carry a bunch of clothing so that we can cut it up because I've used, as you've seen, as a previously explained, um, you can't use the dirty stuff because it's, whelming in in it we don't want to have to wear clothing that has been in contact with zombie gross flesh because a it's gross and b it can cause us diseases which we don't like I'm not a fan of disease especially on myself i'm gonna let go of this shopping trolley because it's hard to stab zombies when you've got a shopping trolley uh, to deal with please don't break my trolley Ignore this one. I don't care. Know how it's saying we quickly strike the zombie. That means, I think I've mentioned that, we can um, it, it, ignore. It basically means we can shush, stab him a few more times than we will be able to with a normal attack on account of how it's faster. That one can't see us. Butcher that one. Apologise for the th thump. I notice it's quite loud right now, but I'm guess I'm, I'm basically currently going by the fact that other games that seem the same volume seem okay. So <laughs> if it's loud in my ears, it's loud for you, and if it's normal volume in my ears, it's normal for you. If that's not the case, please let me know either on Discord or in the comments. Just you know, tactfully take me to one side, stage an intervention. Oh, a hairpin. We could wear the hairpin. It's fancy. Happy. Don't wield it. Wear it. B. Meh. We are not uh, more moralous for having worn the hairpin. We'll take as many things as we can. Loath as I am in real life to burn books. Red books. Not like the colour. But having no longer containing material that we are not aware of books. Little tongs are going to be great. Mushy pear has probably gone off. Clean water is fantastic. Fruit juice is great. We will take cooking on a budget. We should start reading, by the way. 
so don't let me forget that. Let's take some sheets because these sheets, which are curtains, again, turn into rags that we can use. It won't give us diseases if we use them to repair our clothing. Yes, <laughs> very good. Well done remembering the word clothing. Um, yes, good job. An exclamation mark. At Treupan, a broad spectrum antibiotic used to suppress infections and prevent them from setting in. It isn't strong enough to purge infections outright, but it boosts the body's resistance against them. One dose lasts 12 hours. So it's a good immune system booster, apparently, is what I understand from that. But I don't care <laughs> because you have to sort of take it ahead of time. We just went to the vet because we had an appointment, but also we want to talk about the fact that the dog keeps getting car sick and many people say she'll grow out of it, which is true, she will grow out of it, but for now, sometimes, reasonably often, we have to make long journeys, the car's just going to, if the car, if the dog's just going to bulk up in the car, it's not going to help. So we asked if there's any medical help. And there is, but apparently it's a new one, quote unquote, that we can try called NutraCalm and you're supposed to give it to them one to two hours before you get in the car. And one to two hours, sometimes you just have to leave, right? Um, apparently some of them take several days. Uh, state stented, wheels enough, most damaged heavy duty board, which is going to be one of the, the things that the, the, the floors basically the floors the, the wooden floors inside this is what is it swap truck so it's got two percent diesel and seven percent battery so if we just press and then you could use a screwdriver to hot wire it yes i've done that before <laughs> um i don't recommend it because it tends to have the effect that the alarm goes off it tends to have the effect. Tends to have the effect that many, many. Oh, another Glock. Many, many um, zombies would like to investigate what's making all that racket. We should say we've explored these. By the way, we've explored that. We've explored that. We've explored that. We are near our second base. Oh, shift E. Sorry. Sorry. We're near our second base, so if we want to, we can... In fact, we probably should, at least in the next episode... Uh, in between episodes, I should say. Try and board up that other... Uh, the, the other house that we are using as a... An outpost. A sort of a secondary base here. There's a red wall here. I'm slightly scared. I don't think those things could see me, but I'm not going to risk it. Um, what I did there, by the way, if you press Shift X, you can peek around a corner, and then you get the opportunity to move the aiming thingy here. So you're now this is this represents you in an instant of time, sticking your head around this corner and taking a look. I can spend as much time as I want as a player looking around. The reason for that, why, why is this not rendering? Oh, it's yeah, it's outside my uh, field of view. That's fine. I as a player cannot tell this chap where I want him to look in that instant. So I'm just sort of... They just give you the, uh, the benefit of the doubt and let you take as long as you want to gather as much information as you can in that instant. You can also press Shift-V at this point and it will tell you, just like it normally does, what's around you. So that's very useful because you can peek around the corner. Copper wire, very valuable. You can peek around the corner, stick your head back in and take stock of the situation that you've just seen all in an instant in which usually a screwdriver set. Is that better? Maybe. I think it has finer screwdriving quality and certain operations require better screwdrivers, which would make sense. Um, yes. The things I said and stuff. I've got a jackhammer now, which means I can probably dig very big holes. Is this like an unfinished house? Where are we? Shady zombie. You can see me in here. It just says house. <laughs> and not to be confused with, the character... Yes, stop. Uh, played by the British man, Hugh Laurie. 
in, in an American accent. Where's my sound effects? <laughs> my sound effects back. Quick butchery there. Uh, but I, I literally mean just a building with usually, but not always, a roof. I'm surprised so many of these houses just do not have the half-built wall. It is a half-built house. It's a halfway house. Now I get sounds. Nice. Not, but not the blah. Quick but three. Every time I do this, I have to wait five minutes. I want to wait less than five minutes. <laughs> wait till weather changes. That's a handy one, actually. Because if you want to go outside, you can, you can wait till uh, a certain time of day, which means you don't have to do anything in between then and then, but you will start to get hungry and thirsty because time will still have passed. So you might as well make use of that time. I've rarely found a purpose to waiting until um, a certain time of day because just do, get stuff done. <laughs> Times are wasting. Life's too short. So these are vending machines. The current balance is zero, but you can find um, <laughs> sure, you can find cards, bank cards on on on, on zombies that you destroy. I've taken all this metal, by the way, because metal is going to be super useful for us. I'm getting tired. I recognise it. No. So let's move the sheet metal. This is probably the most useful stuff. Small metal sheet. And then we can take the pipes. Alright, take two. Because small metal sheets are going to become useful. Well, not necessarily the small ones, but metal sheets will become useful. When we want to start building vehicles. Vehicle. Vehicles. This door is locked. Uh, is it just it's a closed wood door? Let's try it. You know what? We should explore first. If that for some reason sets off an alarm we can leg it if it doesn't I can't even can we just eat it can I just pick it up yeah I'm, I'm not actually carrying anything so I can put more things in my pockets for now but my shopping trolley is full to bursting I should really just unload these flashlights but whatever so let's try these doors first of all we'll try the one that is near the <laughs> near the uh, my egress. Five glass shards. Five glass shards. Three French friends. Save in the game. Thank you for smashing all of that stuff so I can just go around here, which I could have done anyway. Oh, that door's locked. I remember. Not that it was valuable. Peep E and J sandwich. That's going to be great. Might eat that right now. I enjoyed that. Cream soda. Yes. Well, I'm happy as Larry. Great. Can we now take this? No. So don't. Thank you for dropping that can. I didn't really need it. I programmed it to do that. I say programmed, I mean configured. So activate crowbar. Open. Crunch. A crunch but no Wii U's. That's great. So we could, for example, try and do this. If we do that and it goes horribly wrong, it goes even more horribly wrong. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you know exactly what you're doing, which I don't. We've already gone through that door. Ooh. So I think what we're going to do, we're coming up to time on the episode. So we'll walk back to... I'm going to walk back to our halfway house, which is not this one, which has been explored. And we've explored this bank. And we have a gas station to the north of us, which is really good, actually, because there's some good stuff in there. This auto goes down, but I don't think we've explored it. Um, we'll go back to our halfway house because then we can reinforce it with all the 2x4s and the tools that we've found that allow us to do this thing. We we'll probably even just build a fence. We can't build a fence because it's too much effort. <laughs> you don't mind me saying so? You have to put things in the ground and all that sort. Whoa, oh, crack! Oh, that big thump, if you heard it, was Jen coming home. So I am going to call this episode here to make sure she's okay, because she recently twisted her ankle and is nevertheless driving around like a fool. Um, I'm going to reinforce these windows and get some stuff done. We're going to read some books, get some sleep, all that good stuff. Until the next time, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you're learning, I hope you're enjoying, I hope you'll leave a like and a subscribe. Check out any other series that are currently going on. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.